Father, we come before you this morning, Lord, because as a people, as a Jamaican people, we have been wayward. All of us barring none in one way, in one form or another. We have disassociated ourselves from your word. We have not even begun to understand what Second Chronicles 7.14 says. If my people who are called by my name, and there are some indicators that follows, shall humble themselves. You pride in humility, God. That is one of the, the, the elements that Nebuchadnezzar lacked and why he ended up in the wilderness for seven years. He didn't understand humility. He didn't understand his own mortality. He thought he was immortal somewhere in his brain. Shall humble themselves and then we pray because we need to understand that you are the only creator. Everyone else and everything else are created beings. All power belongs to you. All knowledge belongs to you. All wisdom belongs to you. If all the wise and wealthy and wonderful, what we call people, were pulled together, they would be like dung in your sight. And I'm not calling people dung. I'm just saying, God, in terms of the all of what we call accolades and attributes. And we seek your face. We really talk to you in a transparent and in a vulnerable, in a real sincere manner. Then you will hear from us. And heal our land, heal our bodies, heal our minds, heal our souls, heal, heal our spirit. And when I'm talking about spirit, I'm talking about attitude. But all of us have gone astray. And it's not necessarily one particular entity only, God. Every one of us have gone astray. We have moved away from you. And that is why Jamaica is in the rut that it is in. It is not just one entity, all of us. And we all need to repent before you god and we just can only ask for your forgiveness for not trusting in you for not leaning on you many of us have been tried to be independent of you and we can never be independent of you mighty god forgive us of our trespasses forgive us of our sins forgive us oh god because we really don't even understand what we have done not just the thief, not just the people who crucified Jesus when he had to pray that prayer. But I pray, Lord, that you will restore and heal Jamaica in every way. Father, we need you right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.